This is the second data set and we're going to linearize a quadratic relationship this time. But uh, before we begin, we need to go ahead and set everything into our Logger Pro program. So you'll notice that our X and our Y data points are uh, already lined up for us. And we're going to go ahead and just put those right into Logger Pro. So our times here are 0.1 and then we've got 0.2. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So those are really easy. We need to go ahead and set the titles or the names and uh, set the units for this. It makes it a little bit easier to read when we go through. So we'll go ahead and put time. And then the units for the, uh, time is always a second. And we don't use SEC. Instead, we just want to use the abbreviation S. For the Y unit, we have position. So we'll go ahead and type that in, position. And the position here is measured in meters for this data set. In this data set, we're going to have several numbers. The first number is 0 0.03. Next is 0 0.12, then 3, 12, 27, 48, and finally 75. So now when we look at our data, uh, we notice that we do have a parabolic shape. And if you remember, a parabolic shape gives us the equation for a parabola or for this parabolic shape. The equation is y is equal to x squared. Because the equation is y is equal to x squared, we know that we need to square the x's in order to have this curve come out to be a straight line so that we can use our uh, our original equation for a line. We'll go ahead and um, I'm going to hit the A button just to auto scale so you can see that curve just a little bit better. So we're going to make a curvy line into a straight line again. We need to go to data and we need to say new calculated column. This calculated column, remember we are going to square the X values and you notice on the bottom the X values do include time. So I'm going to go ahead and put time. But remember that this one is squared. So we're going to go to superscript and we're going to make that time squared. We're going to do the same thing with the units. So we'll put S for seconds and then we'll do superscript again and we can put in the squared for second squared. At this point, uh, in order to do second squared, we can choose variables. We're going to choose time. And then we want to square it. And to square it, we can do caret top 2. That makes it just really easy. At this point, we're going to go ahead and click Done. Remember, you will not see that line come up immediately because we still need to change the axes. We have this axis as position in meters, and the other one is time in seconds. And remember, we squared the time, so that's what we want to change. We'll change it to time squared, and when we look at our data points, we notice that it does make a very nice straight line. We'll go ahead and linearize this one. And so we'll put linear fit, and we do get our data now. This is a little bit harder to see when I opened it. It uh, didn't make it very big. So uh, when you do it, you can make it a little bit bigger. We do have the y is equal to mx plus b format for our equation. And uh, we need to go ahead and fill all of these boxes in for data set two. For this data set, we know that we have our first line was a parabola. And so that parabola kind of looked like this. The second one, our test plot, we uh, definitely want to put in our uh, different axes labels. So we have position here, then we have time squared. And so this one would be position, so you'd have to write that there, and you'd write time squared. The unit is a second squared, and here we just have meters, and you do get your straight line. So you'd want to make sure you write that there. That takes us to the mathematical expression, and we will go ahead and write that on this graph. Makes it a little bit easier to see. So remember, we're going to use y is equal to mx plus b. This equation just helped us linearize, so we're not going to redo that one. Instead, we're going to use this. Our y, if you remember, is the label is position. So we'll write the position of this object is equal to, and we notice that our slope here is 3, and then our unit is a meter, so we get a meter from here, over, since we're doing slope, we're dividing by 
the uh, x value, and that would be a second squared. So, so far we've done the y, we've done the m, we need to do the x now, and notice that it's just not time, it is time squared. So we're going to put time and put a square sign there. And our uh, b value, or our y-intercept, is very small. It's 7.6 times 10 negative 15th. So remember, if uh, we abide by the rule called the 5% rule, if our b value is 5% or less of our uh, m or our slope, then we can just ignore it. And notice that this number is really, really small. So our final equation is just the one that we see here. Position is equal to 3 meters per second squared times time squared. You could technically put plus zero, but there's really no need to. So we won't do that here. We'll just leave it. And that is how you linearize data set number two.